At the end of this video, you are going to learn how to download satellite images DAM data from satellites like Sentinel-2, Landsat-8 or Landsat-9 or NASA satellites direct into your system and they'll be ready for analysis just like this. So the website we'll be using is USGS, a free resource run by the US government to provide GIS data for free. On your search engine, simply type USGS Earth Explorer Click on the first website and it takes you directly to the USGS website. I'm already logged in, otherwise you click here to log in or create an account. If you don't have an account, then I'll just log out here. To create an account, create a new account, you enter your username, password, and you proceed to the next slide. The next slide now shows you um, how you can be able to enter, it's basically straightforward. Be able to enter your name, your address, phone number, customer information, and then your demographic information, your things like your affiliation, your usage, literally what you are going to need the data for and why you need it, how often you need it, just basic stuff, you enter it and proceed. So I already have an account, so I'll just sign in here. All right, so there are different steps to this. The first is setting up your search criteria. Setting up your search criteria, you set the geocoder. Let me zoom in so that you, you'll see it better. Yeah. You search the geocoder. If you already have a KML ship file, which you've gotten from Google Earth, you can easily upload that here. Yeah, you can provide, produce KML files from Google Earth and upload so that it's takes the coordinates, it picks out the coordinates at this point and takes it to your preferred location. Otherwise, you set it at address place and then type in the address of your choice. Let's call this Benin. Let me wrap my school. Niben Benin City. A two states Nigeria. And then you see this the addresses here. You select and it gives a placement marker there. So you can use a polygon to a circle or a predefined area to select the points around that search area once that's taking you there let's try using the polygon it picks up the coordinates of the area you want if you want to adjust it you adjust it like that so you can manipulate the search area it's not this does not determine whether the data that is going to be downloaded is exactly this shape no the only thing it makes sure that of is that your data that the map tile you are going to be downloading is going to cover your search area that's the most important thing you can now go on to trim it on your gis platform your preferred gis platform which is using for your analysis so we'll set other things like date range. If you are looking for data from so and so time, let's say 2015. Month, month, the date, that will be 01. 
go one twenty fifteen. Let's use a more recent one twenty nineteen to thirty one. Okay, month that's twelve thirty one twenty nineteen. So if you're making analysis to compare land use, land cover, or urbanization, effect of urbanization in 2019 compared to 2022. So you streamline your search of the first to 2019 and then download a different data set for 2022. It's that simple. Cloud cover, there is no specific percentage cloud cover that is used. Yeah, as is required of you or depending on the kind of data you need. If you need it to ana for analysis on precipitation data or things like that, or if you need something completely clear, then you can go with things like 20%, 5%. Those are allowable cloud covers, except it is necessary. Your result options, nothing to set there. Then the next step, data sets. This now defines which satellite you're downloading your data from. Which satellites for now I want to download from Landsat 8, Sentinel 2. Sentinel gives you data from that you can use for your NDVI calculations, NDWI calculations. They give you precise data of about 10 meter resolution. So if that's what you need, your data for your DM data for then you can download you can select Sentinel but not what I need at this time I need it for Landsat so I'll select Landsat Landsat collection to level two let's select Landsat eight to nine Landsat nine is the most recent Landsat satellite that has been launched I'll select this nothing else here. You can see other, other sources which you can download from here. Then additional criteria. This is different for every um, data set which you select here. So you can use it to enter supplementary information for the search criteria. And if you have any of that information here, the cloud cover, the Nadia and whatever is required of you. For now, we don't need all of this. So we'll just go straight to the results and it's searching. It has provided results for us. We can export our data here. We can export our data, export the metadata here. Just simply choose a name Let's call it special data hub, special data hub. Select file format, KMZ, CSV, ship file, whatever you want. For ship files, ship files are not are provided on demand. I've requested for mine of the past one I tried out. I'm yet to receive an email, but when you request for it, you will get a notification that it will be sent to the email, your registered email on the account. It's not always available because of demand. While CSV option gives you that table of metadata available, if you have any queries or suggestions or questions to ask, then you can send an email to USGS are using their email at cussave, S-C-R-V, at usgs.org. So that's about that. That's if you require the me metadata. The footprint helps you see the map tile extent. You see this one will not cover exactly, will not cover the point of interest, our search area. Let's try this. This one's either. Try this. This one's. Try this. So 
So obviously, if we have this as our search area, we will not be able to get it in one map tile. All four map tiles are made to cover the search area, but not one. No one covers all of them specifically. That's a challenge downloading data from here. But there is a way to get around this. One way to do that is by downloading multiple data, multiple images, you select the ones that fit what you need. And then, for example, these two don't really make sense to go together. No, this is cool. This is not necessary. This is good. With these two, we can perform our analysis. Importing it into QGIS, then you can easily trim it off to what you need based on the coordinates, selected coordinates to what you need and they'll be good for your analysis. So the other features here, um, are not so necessary. You just click on download or let's download from here. Okay. I think we selected this, yes. So we also selected this, yes. So you click on download for both and then it provides the download options. These are the download options. It's going to come in a full package of compressed files. So all you have to do is download, extract and work on it. As you can see, there are different bands and it's a .tif file. It can work even on software applications like TSET, band one to band seven. Yep. So you can download from here. If you want to download for the specific bands, if you don't want the full package, then you can download for each band. Otherwise you download the whole data just under one gig. So thank you. My next couple of videos, I'll be starting a detailed analysis using um, Landsat 8 images. You won't want to miss it. Don't fail to like my video. I guess it provided value to you. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so that when I drop my videos, you'll be the first to know. 